Welcome back to another micro video and today I'll be doing something a bit different. Today I am making an easy tutorial. An easy tutorial because it's not just a tutorial, it's an easy tutorial. A simple, nice build that you can build to make your villages look a bit more interesting. Out of all the builds I've made, the hen house is probably my favorite to be honest. It's simple and it's nice and it actually looks like a hen house. There are of course many different ways to make a hen house. Before I begin, I would just like to let you know that the materials used here don't really matter. What matters is the shape itself. I just think that spruce wood and oak wood works well together, or spruce wood and mossy and normal cobblestone. But really, you can use anything for this. Another thing to note is that you can swap this out with hay bales. If you do not have the right tools, or you don't know where horn corals or widges coral reef is. To simplify things and to make things easier for you, I'm going to be showing two bases the cobblestone base and the simple fence base. Everything apart from that stays the same, except for, of course, the ramps that lead to the hut itself. These are the materials you'll need for this. You can swap the oak fences out with this. And you can swap the oak slabs out with this. You can swap this out with this. So, let's begin. Each corner, add a stripped spruce log and then connect those stripped spruce logs with oak fences. In total, you'll have used 4 stripped spruce logs and 12 oak fences. In case you want to use this base, do the exact same thing. Add one stripped spruce log to each corner and then connect them with cobblestone walls. And then fill out this area with just cobblestone. If you want to make it more interesting, use mossy cobblestone. How you get that? Dungeons or uh, jungle temples. Or of course you can just add cobblestone to your vines. I think that's the opposite. You can add vines to your cobblestone. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, add another strip spruce log to each corner, making the total of those eight. Then connect them with spruce stairs, 12 in total. And then fill in the area with spruce planks. Now add two stripped spruce logs to each corner, bringing the total of those up to 16 now. Now connect those with spruce planks, remembering to keep a gap for the door. You'll be needing 22 spruce planks for this bit. In total, that'll be 31 spruce planks now. This next part is very, very, very easy. All you'll need is just six more stripped spruce logs and add them above the door, where the door will be, and then on their back where the chicken nesting area will be. Now the next part is a bit more difficult, especially for me to explain to you. You'll be needing 21 more spruce planks for this, and you'll be adding them on the very top and on the corner parts of your hen house. This is the last bit of spruce planks you'll need, making the total, making the total 52. And yes, I had to go back and look. And now it's time to add spruce slabs to your roof, finishing up the exterior part. You'll need 46 spruce slabs for this, unless, of course, you want to be filling in the inside as well, which in that case, you'll need to add an extra 6 to it, making it 52 as well. If you've made some mistakes, I recommend looking over it. Remember that it needs to look like this from the back, and the same way in the front, except with a little area where the door is supposed to be. Now the next part is a bit trickier, so I'll build it for you myself. You'll be needing three oak slabs for the staircase to the entrance. Now you'll need to add an oak fence gate for the door. And the way I like to do this is like this. Add water so it all becomes an infinite water source. Then add your oak slabs on top so they're waterlogged properly. And then add your horn coral fans. In case you cannot afford that or you haven't found horn coral fans, or you haven't found a warm ocean to harvest these horn coral fans, or you don't have a silk touch pickaxe to get them, then you can always, of course, use a hay bale instead. Doesn't look it nice, but it gets the point across, and this is actually hay, which is a lot more realistic than horn coral fans. And just like that, you'll have completed it. Now, in case you want to make this a bit more interesting, I'll show you some other things you can do. Simply, you can just add this, of course. This is probably the most easy out of these things. You can, you can of course, oops, you can of course put this on either side. You can make this on this side as well. 
and you'll have a nice little uh, section right there. The reason you might want this is for windows, which might be like this or like this. Now in case you wanted an entrance for your chicken and then an entrance for you, you clear out this area and place a door right there. And to make it make room for yourself, you simply do what I did over there, here as well. There we go. And now you can walk up this as well. What would look nicer though is using oak stairs for this part. Because it's a lot more short than the other one. This is for you, this is for the chickens. While the chickens might need a plank, you can have stairs like this for you to enter. Is this realistic? No, but a real hen house would also be a lot smaller, wouldn't it? Now let's say you want to add a second layer to this. I don't know why you'd want to add a second layer to this, but let's say you want to add a second layer to this. All you got to do is this. Clear out the top area right here. In case you want to make it look a bit nice from the outside, I recommend adding spruce, uh, strip spruce logs over here. Which I would do this. In fact, actually, I think what I would do here is I would just take this away. And just put spruce planks over here. Careful to replace this, of course. Once again, I'm not sure why you'd want a second layer, but in case you do, this is how you do it. Now, if you wanted to match the roof on the bottom, you just do this. And now fill this all in. And you'll have completed a two-story hen house for some reason. This is your two-story hen house. Oops, one thing I just noticed. I forgot to add one of the side pieces. Oop, two of the side pieces. Anyway, this is it. Two stories. You can also replace the roof with staircases, which, like I said before, doesn't really work. But, you know, if you want to do that, let me just show you how. Generally, hen houses have a flat top, so I don't recommend adding a slab up here, because that makes it look like a full-on house. I recommend you leave this alone and do it like this. And when you do this, it looks semi-decent in my opinion. It doesn't look as good as this, but it does look pretty nice. You can do the same thing here as well, as I did with the other one, by just adding to it like this. I recommend something like this, in case you want to add a... There we go. If you want to add a window, I recommend doing something like this. Maybe something like this. If you're feeling a bit adventurous, but I don't recommend that. Of course, you can also do it like this. Join those up. It really depends on your taste, or on what you're wanting to achieve with this. I'd probably do something like this, if I wanted to use this. Not that I would. So now we are done with pretty much with the hen house and pretty much everything else you can add to it with all the extensions and the additions. If there's anything else, feel free to point it out in the comment section or just do it yourself because, well, after all, this is for you. And now, um, it's time for me and my village to head off. Bye, everyone. Stop making noise. <sighs> Running a slavery ain't easy, let me tell you. What did I just say?